Hi, welcome back to EdgeCake2.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Today I'll be showing you off my latest invention that I made. This is a 12 volt wireless charging lithium battery pack system. I call this um, Compact Fuel Z Lithium Battery Pack System. Okay, I'll have to change the name later on, but let's have a look at it briefly and I'll show you in detail. Basically, what it is is, is a um, 12 volt lithium battery that can be charged wirelessly. If you have a wireless char charging mat, you place it onto it and it will be able to charge it instantly. So you can charge this 12 volt battery. Okay, so it is lithium. And notice that I have a, um, a four 3.7 volt battery, lithium battery, connect in uh, parallel. Okay, so it's one unit here. And then here's another one here. It's also four lithium battery, 4.7 volt. And here's another one, four lithium battery, uh, 3.7 volt. And they're connecting um, parallel. But when they're connecting between these three units, they're connected in, um, in parallel. So now what you get is around 12.6 volt if you charge it up to 4.2 volt. Okay, so you, when you place in a charging mat, now make sure that uh, you check the voltage because I don't have the voltage regulator that tells me whether it reaches like say 13 volt or something like that so just make sure you keep it around 12.5 12 uh, 12.6 volt and you stop okay once you charge so I have this uh, voltage meter I usually hook up to and it will tell me how far it has charged so you always make sure if you do develop something like this make sure unless of course you develop a voltage regulator that able to monitor this uh, other than that, you have to make sure you check it uh, doesn't go beyond 12.6 uh, volt. And when it's done, you can hook up to any 12 volt devices, right? You buy different adapters. For example, you know those car jack adapters that you hook up to charge, say, your um, USB or connect it to your, um, your laptop and all that. You can hook up to this directly and be able to charge it, right? You can also hook up to a solar panel as well. But I'm going to show you that I can charge it. Uh, through a wireless charging pad. Okay, let's have a look at it. Okay, so let's test out this Z Compact Fuel, the lithium 12 volt battery uh, bank system. So I told you that it can be charged wirelessly. Watch this. Just place on the charging pad. This is a wireless charging pad. And voila! These lights indicate that is uh, charging. See that? Cool. Simultaneous charging. Watch this. There we go. And if you look at the other side, there it is. It's also charging. So these are 3.7, 3.7, 3 3.7. When um, attached in series, you get around, uh, when it's fully charged, anyway, it's around 12.5 um, to 12.6 volt, right? Because once it's fully charged, this is about 4.1 to 4.2 volt each, right? Pretty cool. So there we go. We have this. Uh, wireless charging dock, just place it, you want to charge it, and that's it. Now I also have a um, solar panel. This is a 30 watt solar panel, and I'm going to hook it up to this uh, battery pack system as well, and you can see that will work. But before I do that, I'll show you the uh, application to this uh, battery system. Okay, so, so it's very convenient to charge it wirelessly and using a solar panel if you're going you know, outdoor and camping and all that. And this is a 38 watt, uh, 30, uh, sorry, 50, uh, 82 watt battery system. I'm going to show you to hook, how to hook up, let's say, a uh, speaker. This is a uh, Bluetooth speaker. This is a, um, a 20 volt halogen lamp light, the tablet, right? You can hook that up. You could even hook up a, you know what this is? This is a uh, Wi-Fi extender. You could even do that if you wanted to. So for example, you know, in a field you want to extend your tablet to other tablets let's say there's a video in your or your your in your uh, tablet some kind of um you know streaming you want to do uh, around your camp there we go you have a wireless uh, Wi-Fi extender to do that okay so so many application because this is a 12 volt battery system it can pretty much hook up to any device right now as long as you have what I call the inverter let me show you here it is this is a um, 100 watt inverter. Okay, there's a 100 watt inverter. This one here, and then I have a 30 watt inverter. Okay, so both of them you need. 
to get it working. And of course, if you just want to charge your USB devices, you just need this. Okay, a car socket adapter that has USB on it. Okay, so but if you want to, you know, plug your laptop, for example, or s tablet, you and that it uses a AC adapter, you can use these inverters. Okay, to do that. Okay, I'll show you right now how to hook it up. Okay, so let's hook it up. So you can see here is a positive terminal and this is a negative terminal. Okay, positive terminal. So what you need, of course, is a car uh, socket adapter. So it has a clip at the end. You plug that positive on one side and then the negative on the other side, like that. Okay, and this is where you plug in your inverters. For example, let's start with something simple like a 30 watt inverter. Plug that in. And you see a blue light, that means it's working. So for example, if I wanna, let's start with this halogen 20 volt, uh, 20 watt halogen lamp light. Now I wouldn't recommend you use a halogen uh, lamp light. You might wanna use a um, 11 watt or 7 watt uh, LED light. It's probably more practical and more efficient. Okay, but just for demonstration, I'm showing you a 20 watt halogen light plugged into a inverter. So if you notice how the inverter has a regular AC outlet. Okay, so it can now this one only a power up to 30 watt uh, of uh, system. So in other words, any device that uses less than 30 watt will be able to work. So this is a 20 watt uh, lamp light. It's halogen, so let's plug it in. And now, in fact, before I do that, I want to show you that this is a 12 uh, volt system. Okay, so I'm gonna hook up a voltmeter before I do that. So let's all these things going on here. You might not be able to see that. There we go. Okay, now let's so I'm going to get the wiring. So we're going to monitor the voltage. Okay. There. You can see it's 12.51 volt. Now if I plug in okay, this uh, 20 watt halogen light. Here we go. Oops, sorry, the wrong one. This one here. Okay, this 30 watt, plug that in, and now you'll notice the voltage will drop, but it helps me to monitor how much um, uh, energy is being used, okay? Now you can't measure the, the current directly, I don't have the uh, device to do that, but I can monitor the voltage. Here we go. Okay, let's turn on the light, and voila! Okay, so now it's 12.25, um, that's because it's using this 20 uh, watt power lamp light. So, right? So, plugged into there. Pretty cool. Okay? Now, I can also use a two, uh, 100 watt power as well. Doesn't really matter. For example, if I want a uh, more, uh, you know, div uh, a device that is actually using more watt wattage, then I'll use a 100 watt uh, inverter. But, you know, that means you'll drain your battery quite quickly. So, we're going to stick with a 30 watt uh, inverter. Okay? So we're, not, we're gonna limit to maybe a 30 watt or less devices on this. Now for emergency, if you do have a laptop, you might need a 100 watt inverter. But like I said, it will be able to charge the, uh, the uh, laptop, but maybe for less than an hour, all right? Because this is only an 80 watt system. Okay, let's look at other things that I could connect to. So now this, the good thing about this inverter, it actually has a USB connector as well, okay? So we're going to connect this um, Bluetooth uh, stereo system into it. Now, I'm not going to hook up the Bluetooth stuff. I don't need to, right? I actually have a, if you look at here, I have a USB key. This is a um, 8 gig USB key. I plug it in, and this system can recognize the songs that's in this uh, USB key. So we're going to do that directly. So here we have a, it's a U USB connector for charging. Now it also runs on a lithium battery as well on this thing, but I'm going to connect directly into my uh, power bank, my uh, compact uh, fuel system here. So you're going to plug that in, and there we go. And the music should turn on anytime soon now. There we go, it is. Ah, and I have a remote control. Let's turn on the volume. Let's change the music a little. There we go. Cool, right? Okay, 
does turn this off for a minute. Okay, so you can see, you can also hook up using a USB connector to a speaker. Uh, power, so this battery system can power that as well. Okay, so a light, uh, a uh, speaker system, and even um, the lap, the, sorry, the uh, tablet. Okay, so I have a, a little this tablet here. We're going to plug this in. I need an adapter for it, so hold on, let me go get it. Okay, let's turn this off. Now, this Asus, uh, the, or Asus uh, tablet requires a special adapter, right? Um, it comes, it's not the regular USB adapter. So I need to connect it directly to a inverter, okay? So I'm going to do that. Let's take this out and plug it in, right? And charge this tablet. As long as the tablet or uh, the um, laptop it uses less than you know, 30 watt for this inverter, it will be fine. Now, if I have a bigger laptop, I might have to use a 100 watt inverter. But here we go, it's charging. And you can see right here, it's showing it is charging. Pretty good. So there we go, it can charge this tablet, right, using inverter. Now I'm going to show you now, I'm going to go outside, I'm going to hook up to a solar panel, uh, this battery system. So now where this can actually be carried out during camp, you know, campsite, outings and all that, you can also do that as well. We're going to actually charge it, right? We're going to charge it using a solar panel. So very practical. So not only it can be charged wirelessly. Okay, Oops, let's turn this off a minute. Okay. Not only can be charged wirelessly, you can see here. There we go, right? We're going to use the solar panel. Okay, let's go outside and see if we can hook it up. Oh, by the way, I forgot. We can also hook up the uh, the wireless extender as well, but I'm not going to do that, okay? But it can be done as well because this is, um, let me see. You have to read at the back how much wa wattage is used. And I believe this thing used uh, less than 10 watt of power. It doesn't really say I have to look at the, um, the manual, right? But it, I don't think it used more than 10 watt of power, okay? So you can plug this in. This is a wireless extender. So you can extend, um, you know, your devices. Okay, so let's say you have some kind of file in your tablet and then you connect it to this wireless extender, then the other uh, devices can also use it. And because this extender can go pretty far around your campsite, anybody could use your, uh, you know, can access your, um, your say, your uh, portable hard drive and all that stuff. And let's say you have a movie in there or some kind of songs, files and all that, you could do that. Okay, anyway, let's, let's go in, outside and uh, connect to a solar panel. Okay, so to pick it up, on your, on my, um, battery packs and bubbles in the battery system that I built. The R native and R channel. There it is. So you're gonna hook up R channel here. Before it was 21.7 volts, and now I'm going to test out how much voltage this one is going to do this. There we go. So, when the solar panel is hooked up to the battery with the volt meter reading, it's now showing me uh, 12.68. Right? That's running through these battery system okay so definitely it's charging okay now I'm gonna leave this out for a while maybe for about I don't know maybe another 10-20 uh, minutes and then now what I, ideally what I need to do is build um, some kind of volt uh, meter into this battery pack system so I can keep track of how much voltage is running into this battery system However, I'm going to leave this and let it, you know, sit for a while. I don't want it to go beyond uh, 13 volt, obviously, okay? Actually, ideally, 12.6 is good enough, right? But because it's charging through the solar panel, only certain small current is running through, so I'm not too worried that this is going to be overheated, okay? But just to make sure it doesn't go over uh, 
12.6, maximum 12.13. Uh, okay? I would say ideally 12.6 is good enough.